Your business with Tataru is finished. My, what a thoughtful surprise. Hmm. Whatever would we do without her? Indeed. And she's right, you know. It hasn't been all doom and gloom. Feels like a lifetime ago that Master Louis Soir gathered us together to form the Circle of Knowing. Since then, we have experienced much. But rather than feeling wiser, the more I learn, the more I find my knowledge lacking. Forsooth? As a student, vainly did I believe that I held the secrets of creation in my grasp. Yet that which I had seized was but an insignificant sliver of what awaited in the wider world. Every encounter, every experience hath served to open mine eyes, enlightening and humbling me in equal measure. Even from those whom I called enemies have I learned many a valuable lesson. What will we learn at the edge of the universe, I wonder? Ultima Thule, where the bringer of the end makes her nest. <laughs> I for one can't possibly imagine. But whatever awaits us there, we will survive. We must. For her. Gods, it feels like only yesterday that we went on that mission to Drybone. We've both changed much since then, have we not? <laughs> We've come far together, and if we have aught to say about it, we'll go further still. Aye, we will avert this calamity and return home. In preparation for which, we must give thought to what we hope to achieve after the proverbial dust has settled. What with the primals and Asians all but dealt with, I suppose we'll need to look for new hobbies. In all seriousness, though. In uniting to overcome a common foe, the disparate peoples of the world have found a way forward together. It's a truly gratifying sight to see. Indeed. Though it was many years in the making, we have successfully set in motion the gears of fundamental change. With this, we have fulfilled our humble role as a symbol of hope. And I dare say it is time to bow out. After all, there is no shortage of hands to bear the torch in our stead. You know, I never really considered I might live long enough to see an after. But even if my time as a scion came to an end, I don't expect that much would change. Travelling the world, going wherever the wind blows, lending a hand to those in need. A journey for journey's sake. It doth suit thee well. I must confess I too have yearned to see more of the world. If thou art amenable to the suggestion, I would accompany thee. Mine ability to affect an air of normalcy through artful disguise is much improved, thou must concede. Aye, well, improvement is relative. You still look suspicious no matter what you wear. What of you, Ishtola? Any grand plans? Why, continue my quest for knowledge, naturally. To begin with, I wish to know the state of the Reflections. 
to which end I must find a means to travel between worlds. Tis the least I must do if I am to keep my promise. Should my pursuits prove unduly arduous, I won't hesitate to call on you. And in return, I will take you to see Reen one day. I'm sure you cannot wait to see the fine young woman she has become. <laughs> Spare me. And what of thee? What wouldst thou pursue at duty's end? Here's yours. My apologies for the wait. Well, shall we make a toast? To victory. To our comrades. To the future of the star. What brings you here? Ah, so you were worried that the Levia household might again be gripped by turmoil. <laughs> All is well, I assure you. In my letters home, I had made mention of Astinian, you see. My mother wished to meet the legend in person, and so we arranged to have a spot of tea together. Where were you in my hour of need? Fell beasts I can face, but I'm not made for idle chit-chat with lords and ladies. Well, I for one thought you held your own. Mother was the picture of delight. <laughs> I might have been delighted myself, were we in a tavern with more agreeable drink. The thought of fleeing crossed my mind, but what then? I'd never hear the end of it, least of all from Tataru. I'm sorry. It was not my intent to cause you such distress. It's just... It was one of the things I didn't want to leave undone ere we set forth. That's not to say I think we won't be returning. Yet, given what lies ahead, I did not wish to leave for later that which I could do today. After all, tomorrow is never promised. It's fine. Not like I had better things to do. Besides, seeing you with your mother brought back fond memories of my own. Be we rich or poor, family is 
family. Well, it's past time we were on our way. Wait! Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. Mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. To have returned here with you at my side, it means more to me than you know. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Forgive me, but it needed to be said. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Were it not for you, I would not be alive today, nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. Well, we needn't make it a competition. You know, this must be what Heidelin meant when she spoke about depending on one another. However treacherous the road before us, together we will prevail. <laughs> Knowing them, they're probably dreaming about the celestial adventures to come. Just as well, they've been running themselves ragged of late. Unlike you and the others, I'm a few steps removed from the danger and excitement. The things you all get up to never fail to impress me. But by the same token, I can't help but worry. Not only for your safety, but... but for your happiness. 
After everything you've sacrificed, you earned it a thousand times over. From the simple pleasures of tucking into a hearty meal or, or collapsing into a comfortable bed, to the grand triumphs of visiting legendary lands or finding true love, you deserve all the joy in the world. There is so much that life has to offer, so much to be treasured and shared with those we hold dear. So promise me this. Come what may, you won't give up on your own happiness. When you're out there fighting tooth and nail, it's all too easy to forget. But in the end, your passions will be your greatest strength of all. Remember that. This feels familiar. Well, tis good to be... Uh, wait! What are you... What am I... Gods, don't tell me I fell asleep. Not that there's any shame in it, but you were sleeping like babies. Oh. How embarrassing. Not a word to anyone. Understood? Not one word. I'm told that sleeping in proper beds of your own choosing is a much more effective way to prepare for battle. Oh. So, what were the two of you doing here? I had a few books to return to the library. Thought I'd take care of it while I could. And you?
You will never get what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. In that transcendent moment, what was it that I sought in you? And what was it that you sought in me? How often have we thus assembled to combine our knowledge and seek solutions to the problems before us? Back at the Waking Sands, it was all we could do to address the most minor of troubles. Who could have realized what we'd find when we began to look to the sources of the realm's woes? At the Rising Stones, we made great strides and shared many moments, from the joyous to the sorrowful. We've had occasion to call other places home too. Be it Ishgard or Kugane, we were fortunate to find sanctuary wherein we might take stock and continue our fight. I was honored to host this company in the Crystarium, to stand with you all as we confronted the truth of the star itself. And now from this place, we go to fight the most important battle of all. The Forum has sent word. The Ark is ready. The Loperates naturally will be commanding the vessel. They will see the eight of you to Ultima Thule. Upon arriving, your objective is to find and vanquish Meteon. As a final formality, the Forum bade me ascertain your resolve. So, are you certain you wish to do this? We are. Then, ere you report to Thalmasane, I leave you with these words. You must triumph. What that means will differ for each of you. 
to make it back home, or to simply avert doom, or perhaps something else altogether. Yet whatever it is that drives you, I have faith in its power to see you through. So please, triumph. Triumph, as we who remain behind believe you will. Let us be off then. Wait! Both Kryle and I will be there to see you off, but as your receptionist, I feel I need to say this here. Safe journey, all of you. And... Oh, be safe. <laughs>